which of the following statements is not true regarding progestins? Option A. It increase vascularization of the endometrium. B. It cause endometrial hyperplasia in women with intact uterus. C. It thickens the cervical mucus. D. Both B and C. E. All of the above. Progestins are a group of synthetic progestogens that have similar effects to those of natural progesterone. They can be divided into two categories, the progesterone derivatives and the testosterone derivatives. The progesterone derivatives include medroxaprogesterone, hydroxaprogesterone, and megestrol acetate. Let's move on to indications that are common for all progestins. They can be used as contraceptives, or birth control, either alone or in combination with an estrogen. They can be administered orally, intramuscularly, through an intrauterine device, or a transdermal implant. They can also be used in combination with estrogen in hormone replacement therapy after menopause, in women with an intact uterus to prevent endometrial hyperplasia or endometrial cancer. However, women who have undergone hysterectomy should not receive a progestin, because its key benefit is prevention of endometrial hyperplasia and carcinoma, and that's no longer relevant. Progestins can also be used in the diagnosis and treatment of various gynecological conditions such as, secondary amenorrhea, dysfunctional or abnormal uterine bleeding, and endometriosis, which is when cells of the endometrium grow outside the uterus. Therefore the answer is option B. If you find this video helpful, share it with others who may find it helpful too. Subscribe Medbook for more videos like this and thanks for watching.